Hello and welcome to this bite-sized tip on how to use the link button in the new Rich Content Editor. So to begin with, when we click on the arrow next to our link tool, we see external links and course links. External links would be when you want to send your students to a website outside of your course. And you can link content in a couple of different ways. To begin with, I'm just going to click right here where it says external links. And then it asks me what text do I want. Now this text should be a description of where your students are going. Um, so for instance, National Geographic for Kids. All right. Then below it, I would post the actual link and then I'd say done. Now, wherever my cursor is sitting, I get that hyperlink text that I typed in the field along with the hyperlink. Um, I'm going to remove that and show you a couple of different ways that you can do it. If you already have text on the screen, you can go ahead and click and drag to highlight. And again, best practice with this would be that whatever text you're highlighting does indicate what they're going to be viewing. National Geographic Kids, um, if it's a video, whatever it is, just some sort of description more than maybe saying click here. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up and click on my down arrow. And now I'm going to select external links after I've highlighted text on the page. You'll see the same window, except my text is already there. And then I would go ahead and post that same link and say save. And then it just hyperlinks whatever, um, whatever text you had highlighted. Now, not only can you hyperlink text, but you can also do it to images. So you would just first select whatever image you'd like to link to an external site. Click on our link button, click on external links. We don't have text anymore, but we do have a field where we can link. We say done. And in the case of the image, if you saw right there, the only feedback that we get that it successfully happened is just a quick flash of yellow. But that lets us know that it's hyperlinked. Another good indicator that something is hyperlinked is when it's selected, you have a link options button that's associated with whatever is selected. And it'll be the same if I click on this text. I have a link options button and it really just lets me edit the link. Now let's say that I want to get rid of the link. When I've clicked on it and it's highlighted and I go back to my link button and if you'll notice that tiny little arrow above it, that's just the really subtle way in the rich content editor that it indicates that something is linked. So um, as I click on this now, if you notice, because I've selected something that already is highlighted, I have new menu options, edit link and remove link. So I can remove my link this way and I can do the exact same thing to the image. I can remove and totally get rid of those links. Now, if I wanted to link within a course link. What that means when I click on that is I get this menu of all of the content that I've already created in my Canvas course. So if you're brand new to Canvas, you'll still see all of this. But for instance, I don't have any modules created in this course. So when I click on modules, it'll say no results. This only shows up, shows the things that you have already created. But if you would like maybe this Nat Geo Kids button to link to a specific assignment that you want them to turn in, then you could go to your assignments drop down. And again, you would have already had to previously have created the Nat Geo Kids assignment, but then it would be listed there and they could click on that. Um, so this is a really easy way to access the content that you have already created in your Canvas course and then make it linked one click away for your students to access whatever you'd like them to get to. So I hope that helps in understanding the two different ways that you can link things in your course, either to external sites or course links.